So you like shapes and you like keys. Why don't you become a keysmith and make some keys and and, and cut them and make them into shapes? Guys, I, uh, these intros are get, um, yeah. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Hey guys, welcome back to That's My Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at some shape keys in 2.8. Uh, I, I have a shape keys video, uh, but I do believe it's in 2.79. And if it's not, I love shape keys. Um, and the previous video I did can be used with shape keys, and we can do some cool stuff with that. So, uh, we're going to do some shape keys today. So, I'm going to delete my, 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 my keyboard just because we could use default cube, but I already have something planned, okay? Don't, don't judge, don't judge me, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Shift A on my keyboard and add in a plane, and this plane is gonna help us out a little bit because I'm gonna hit the middle mouse button on my, my uh, mouse to pan around my scene and scroll on in here. Now, with this uh, plane, I'm gonna hit Tab on my keyboard to go into edit mode and hit G, Y. Now this Y right here, we can move on the Y axis, but I want it to snap. So it's not really snapping on the, on the red line right there. So we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and uh, go out of edit mode by hitting Tab. And then just hitting this little, this little magnet button up here, and now I want to go back into tab, and then G, Y, you can see now it snaps, so that's what I want, that's what I want, I'm going to snap it right there, um, and I'm going to take these two top vertices, um, and hit S, 0, now it's going to, it's going to merge those two together, but they're not actually merged, so I can actually separate these, you see, they're not actually together, so, I'm going to hit this little button up here to turn on, uh, you know, the ability to see through the, the, the mesh, whatever it's called, X-Ray. That's what they call it now. It didn't really have a name before, did it? I don't think it did. But we're going to turn on X-Ray because that sounds cool. Turn on X-Ray. Hit B to box select and then just drag a box over top of both of those. And then hit uh, Vertex, Merge, Vertices, at first. Boom. So now when I select this vertice and then just move it around, now they're both combined. Now we don't have to worry about two different vertices on top of each other, which is always a pain. So... I can turn X-Ray off now, and hit Tab to go back into edit mode. And now, I want to go ahead and actually do the Shape Keys part. So now we're all set up. I'm going to open up our timeline here. Go to the Shape Keys part right here, which is the Object Data tab. And hit this little plus button twice. We need two of these, one for the basis and one for Key 1. The basis is kind of like, hey, this is what we want it to start like. This is what it's defaultly at. This is what the shape looks like before we do anything to it. So that's the basis. Then Key 1 is what we're going to do to it. So uh, I want to go ahead and make this little triangle piece go down. So I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode, to go into edit mode, select this vertice at the top, hit G to move, and then just move it down one, and move it down, nope, nope, actually, instead, I, I don't want it to go down, because it's going down like this right now, and I, I don't want that, I want it to go over, so either you can just pan this way, and then just pull it back like that, or you can hit G, Y, and then move it backwards on a Y axis only, there you go, so I want to make, make sure it's right there, so now it's merged, you can't see um, the vertice, you can't see the triangle, because, you know, it's all in the same line, because it's snap, all right, Tab to go back out of edit mode. Now, on shape, on shape key one, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the value up to one, and now you can see it completely disappears. It's gone. Poof. It's magic. It's magical. Magical triangle. That's it. It's gone. If I put it back to zero, then you can see it comes back. So this is pretty cool. I'm gonna turn my overlays off, and um, I want to animate this real quick. So we'll go ahead and go to the zero frame, make our start frame zero, cause you know, um, and then hit I, uh, hover our cursor over top of the value button. Sorry, hit I. And now it'll turn yellow, which means we have a keyframe on that frame. And then go to frame, I say, maybe 20. And then we will go ahead and turn it back to 1. Um, and I, I did this backwards. I want to reverse these. So instead of having it be a triangle and then go to nothing, I want to reverse them. So I'm going to take this shape key right here on 0. Hit G to move it backwards to 40. And then hit B to box select. Select both of those. And then hit G and then move it back up. So now it goes from nothing. Right? It goes from nothing to a triangle, which is what I want. Alright, so, you can see the frame rate is not the best right now. I, I want to bump the frame rate up from 23. Um, so I'm going to go to the scene tab here and change, well, 24 rather, uh, change the frame rate from 24 to 60 because it looks better for motion graphics, which is what I'm kind of going for right now. And then when you play, you can see it looks much better, much cooler, much cooler. There we go. Awesome. So, um, now, so with shape keys, the cool thing is that if you duplicate this, then it'll work no matter where you put it. So, uh, I'm going to go to the 20 frame right here and hit shift d hit shift d sorry uh, hit shift d to duplicate this now i want to move it up here right there right there on that little point so i'm kind of trying to create an invisible square so i'm going to move all of these over actually uh, now if i hit r z and rotate this i, I want the, the rotation to snap as well so i don't have to go like r r z 90 negative i don't want to do that so i want to go ahead and just go up to this little box up here and make sure effect is turned on to rotate as well so now 
the snap will affect the movement and the rotation as well. We can also hit scale on, but I don't need that, so I'm just going to turn it off. Uh, so R, Z, and now you can see it does snap very small increments, and then we can just move it up until it gets right there. Boom. Then hold down Shift, select both of these, Shift D, right click to uh, cancel that movement, then R, Z, and then we'll just rotate. Oop, then we'll just rotate it like that, and then hit G to move it down. Perfect. Now we have four of these little triangle dudes. And what I want to do is if we play this, you can see now they all come out of nowhere, which is so cool. It's so cool. If we stop it like right there, that's like a square on the, on the side, right? Like that. Ooh, square. Okay, that's really cool. Uh, anyway, um, I want to do a couple more things. We can always just do some more stuff with this. So um, we can offset these values by going ahead and opening up the... Let's just drag up on a new window. I will drag my window up like this. Um, and then we will select the dope sheet. Now, these little planes over here, if I downsize all of these just by clicking and dragging, um, if I downsize all these, these are all the planes. So, this is the first plane, second plane, third plane, fourth plane. It says zero, 01, but you can always just change it to plane 2, plane 3, you know, whatever else uh, have you. So, we can just do uh, plane. Uh, there. Okay, perfect. So, now we have four different planes here, which is super coolness. Uh, and I can offset these values so that they don't, that they don't all open at the same time, which is what I want to do. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that by selecting um, plane two right here, and then these two vertices, uh, the vertices, wow, these two keyframes. I'm gonna hit G and move them over by five frames right there. Then we're gonna select these two vertices, hold on Shift, and then hit G to move them over five frames. And then th these two, hold on Shift, G, same thing. Perfect. So now when we play this, they'll come up in, at different times, which is super cool. Shape keys are really, really useful, and this is one of the coolest uh, things you can do with them. Now, you can do some cool stuff with a cube, too. So, uh, sorry, with a square. I'm going to go ahead and hit Shift A, plane. And real quick, we'll just go ahead and um, hit uh, hit Tab. You go into Edit Mode, right click, hit Subdivide. And now I want to go ahead and add some shape keys to this. So if I go ahead and hit Shape Keys, uh, we can add in shape keys by hitting this little plus button twice once again. On key one, we'll select with Tab once again. And then select all of the vertices out here by holding down Shift. Hold down all of them. Just grab all those guys. Then hit S to scale them inwards until they're all the way in there. Now, uh, the problem is we don't have snap on for scale. So guess what we're going to do now? Up here at the top, scale. Perfect. Hit S to scale them in. Now the snap works for scale and we can just get them perfectly in that little center piece. And now if we turn up key one, you can see that it completely disappears. Comes out of nothing, which is so cool. All right. So now same thing with these. Um, I want to actually go ahead and animate this so maybe on frame 25 it'll start on one hover our cursor hit i and then on frame uh, 45 we will go ahead and turn it to zero hit i now when we play this turn my overlays off you can see all those come out and the square comes out last which is just so cool and i'm gonna turn my in frame to maybe frame 90 or 70 yeah so cool i love it that's some just just it's just fun with shape keys, you know. It's just some fun with shape keys. Hope you boys and girls enjoyed this uh, quick shape keys little inspiration video because a lot of you guys asked me about shape keys, what you can do. So I'm giving you guys some ideas right now, which is pretty cool. Some more shape keys are going to be coming in the future. Maybe we'll do some uh, some type of rig with some shape keys. I don't know. I, I like doing that a lot. Um, but yeah, so I'm uh, really enjoying the fact that you guys are enjoying the videos. Thank you so much for the support lately. I really love it. I really do. Uh, thank you to everybody new that's subscribing. And thank you to all the old heads that have been subscribed for such a long time. You guys are awesome. Hope to see you in the next tutorial. But until then, bye-bye.